So first is the thoracic supine manipulation technique. With this one, we're gonna go over different parts of it. I like when patients have their legs up, so we'll have them put their knees in a flex position, kind of hook line, and I always bring them closer to me. So if you can scoot towards me, great. With the technique, you're gonna have them cross their arms. I always like to try the one, give a little pressure, and then do the other, and see which one feels tighter or more supportive. You can ask the patient and yourself. If it's very loose, let's say it's someone who's a little bit tinier, take a little towel or a pillow, roll it up, stick it here. What that'll do is tighten that up. With the technique, I'm gonna roll them over towards us, find the segment that we're doing, take my hand, I'd use the pistol grip, but any of those three that I mentioned, you're gonna place it down at that area. So if I'm gonna do let's say T6, I'm gonna come up to T5, and then I'm gonna do a skin pull down, to kind of skin lock to that level. With this arm, I'm gonna adduct. So as I roll him, I'm gonna adduct and keep that tight. From there, once I roll him, I'm going to flex or extend, if you can see right here. When I flex him, that brings that spine forward. That allows me to get the lower segments. If I extend him, that brings them back and that allows me to get the upper segments. So you'll see me do a little bit of variations here for that. I'm gonna come into this position. My force is gonna be directly down. My chest is gonna be nice and tall over top.